السلام عليكم ورحمة الله يا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بليز كونفرم في كان سي مي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بليز كونفرم في كان سي مي Okay, waiting for your confirmation. Please confirm if you can see me and hear me clearly so we can start. Yes, okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, shabab. Uh, welcome to uh, Big Bang Data Science Solutions week number three and session number one. Yeah, this is um, our third week and our uh, the first uh, session of the third week. In the first session, we talked about the um, an introduction to data science, an introduction to the program. Then we had a lecture on why we need to learn data science. So that is um, what we covered in week number one. Then in week number two, we moved into methodology that we'll be using throughout the program. And we learned about the uh, CRISP-DM as a methodology uh, which is phased and we learned about the first phase of this crisp DM and that is understanding the problem, understanding the business, framing the problem, translating the problem, the business problem into an, an analytical and quantifiable um, statement. So um, we were supposed to uh, go to phase number two which is understanding the data but most of us, uh, most of my students, as far as I know, they don't have the um, skill set yet to utilize the uh, Python, which is going to be the, the programming language we will be using uh, throughout the program. So this week, uh, today and tomorrow, uh, is designed for understanding basics about the, uh, the Python. So we are not going to learn Python programming languages in two sessions, I know for sure, but at least uh, we are gonna, I'm gonna try my best to introduce the platform we'll be using, introduce the language we'll be using, and we will uh, try, I'll try my best to learn some foundations of this programming language called Python. So that is the topic that we are gonna learn in session number, week number three, is Python. As I said, we are not going to learn Python. It's in three sessions. So Python, if you want to learn a Python, at least you need a month, one month or two months to uh, learn Python end to end. So, uh, and um, in, uh, in this session, we are going to uh, concentrate a little bit on Python for analytics, not Python development or Python programming, which is another another direction that you could take uh, if you were to master Python. But we are gonna uh, focus, concentrate on Python for data science. So the, uh, the tool that we are gonna use is um, Jupyter Notebook. And um, I have asked you guys to uh, download the Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda. So if you have not done, done so, then my recommendation is to schedule uh, a one-to-one -one session with me at um, earliest convenience. Then I will be more than happy to assist um, with inst installing this um, platform in your system um, if you don't know how to. So you go to anaconda.com and I'm going to share that in the chat. I'm going to share that in the chat. Here we go. Um, so that is the link that I want you to use uh, to download this, uh, this um, distribution. And by default, by default, um, this um, anaconda.com should detect the, uh, your operating system. So this Anaconda, it does support uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. And by default, it says it's Windows. Just click on it, download it, 
and it's straightforward unfortunately we didn't have time to do this but it's straight uh, forward just keep killing uh, keep clicking and next 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 all the way to the end so there is nothing complicated about it it's uh, anyone everyone um, should do it if not then I am going to be available to support further those who are struggling with this anaconda so once you have the anaconda what what I do is I I, uh, I pin it I pin it to my taskbar so just look for look for anaconda anaconda prompt this is I mean there are many ways you can you can access it but I'm gonna do it through anaconda prompt anaconda prompt and right click and do a pin to taskbar or um, so I do it to taskbar once you pin it simply uh, you are going we are gonna need to launch it so you click on the anaconda prompt you are gonna get a black box like this okay and we are gonna type G U P Y notebook G U P Y T R notebook so that is the command this is the command that you need to type and I'm gonna share this command on the chat as well okay I'm gonna hit enter and of course it's gonna launch uh, the Jipper notebook so it's it's working uh, so here we go and you are gonna see a Jipper notebook like something like this this is what you are gonna see of course you are not gonna see um, th this is my my local systems these are uh, my uh, drivers my folders I'm sorry my folders drivers so um, then we are gonna um, so we are gonna stop here for now yeah this is what you should get if you were to uh, install the Jupyter notebook successfully but before we proceed with this um, application I would love to uh, talk about the um, the folders that you should get through uh, the uh, Jupyter notebook the uh, um, sorry the um, canvas so uh, this is week number three and week number three I have a lot of reading materials for you guys a lot of few ebooks some some great ebooks Python by example I got the Python for data science I got you the Python um, for data science again Python tutorials very great um, great um, ebooks Python, um, learn Python in one day. Then I got you, um, yeah, the Python workbook. Uh, this is Python with examples, with exercises. So it's really great um, resource that you could use if you are serious about learning, um, serious um, about learning about Python. And also I have some um, cheat sheets they have collected that you can um, uh, you can uh, print uh, you know and start um, using so some of them they are very colored very um, well organized uh, as you see they have a lot of um, tutorials how to um, you know commands that you could utilize and practice and practice until you master it and also I have some um, ebooks about data wrangling and matplotlib these are the libraries that you are going to master as data scientists you are going to need to know matplotlib for data visualization you are going to need numpy for numerical python you are going to need pandas for data analytics and uh, we got some crash courses in there and scikit-learn uh, this is another ebook um, for uh, machine learning so I got you enough I got you enough um, in, enough training materials enough ebooks to start um, your journey on your own and this 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 folder is going to be accessed through uh, uh, the uh, 
the canvas. So you should be logging to um, modules. This is your um, canvas. If you don't have access to a canvas, then please talk to me. I'll be more than happy to grant you access um, or to um, troubleshoot or find out why you don't have access to the, uh, the canvas. So um, I'm going to be, uh, you are going to be uh, accessing, you should be accessing the, the week number three uh, sometimes today. So once I have, I have to finalize a few things, but you should be able to access it. So if you have any question, any concern, any doubt, you know, please chat with me. I am thinking of moving from, um, and um, just correct me um, if I'm wrong, I'm thinking of moving from this uh, YouTube platform into a um, more interactive um, platform like Zoom or like uh, the uh, GoToMeeting. So probably tomorrow we are going to do Zoom. -in. So let me know if that's what you want. I know you guys, you want to talk, you want to ask questions live, you want to get the answers right away. And probably that um, what we should do. Since um, the number of attendees has been declined, now uh, so far we got over um, almost 4,000 students participating in this program, but only um, a very small fraction of that number is actually um, taking the program live. So um, that is one of the reasons why we are going to need to uh, uh, we are going to need to transform or we are going to need to move into more uh, interactive um, application. Uh, it could be either Zoom or GoToMeeting. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. We are going to do Zoom tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, so uh, now we have, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is the Anaconda. Uh, the first thing you got to do is um, in the uh, right upper corner of your window we are going to try to uh, uh, so in the upper right corner just click on new click on new and uh, this program um, yeah, this platform or this uh, uh, tool it does support it's not a python tool um, it's not a Python, it's simply a platform that you can use. And this Jupyter, uh, Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda, it does actually support more than 40 different programming languages. It's more than 40 programming languages, but by default, by default, it uh, when you install it the first time, it got installed with the IPython kernel. So it got installed, it comes with the Python kernel. But if you want to add R, for example, let's say you want to add R, simply Google uh, Google R for um, R for uh, Jupyter Notebook. And I know there is um, one command which I don't remember, but let's search it up. Uh, Yes, I know there is one very simple command that you run, and uh, yeah, let, let's 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 uh, look for it first. Then I'll show you how you can. Uh, Yes, installing just say installing our uh, kernel for Jupyter Notebook. Yes, Okay, I uh, let me do one more. Uh, 
yeah, probably uh, one more research. I know it's very, yes, I think this is it. Yeah. Uh, I, I know there is a very simple command that I used in the past. It's very, very easy to use. And there are others and others, that, but they are very complicated, com you know, complicated. So uh, it's only one command, you know, one command. Uh, please search it up if you find it. If you find it, uh, let me um, share it with you all. Okay, uh, I think this is, no. Uh, anyways, so when you install uh, the R, you are going to see the uh, Python 3 and you are going to see R under, under this Python. So probably we, can, we will be able to install the R tomorrow. I'll show you how we can, we can do that. And in the folder, in the folder that uh, I just shared with you, there are two presentations that I want you guys to go through uh, today. One of them is a crash course in Python programming. So it does talk about the uh, talk about Jupyter Notebook. It talks about Jupyter Notebook. There we go. And of course, I am not going to go through this. This is something that you should uh, go through whenever you have time. It does talk about uh, the Jupyter Notebook. Talks about difference between program and programming. Uh, talks about the Python as an open source and uh, why Python is an open source. Uh, it talks about the, um, the OIS and uh, general purpose, high level programming language. Uh, it talks about the Jupyter Notebook as an application. And so you are going to learn about the, how to um, navigate through this Jupyter Notebook dashboard, how to um, look for your folders, your files, how to upload, start a new um, Jupyter Notebook. It talks about sales, sell in, sell out. It talks about how you enter, you create a sale. And we are going to go through this shortly um, as, in, as a demo. Then it talks about the uh, type of data that you'll be using. It talks about the variables, the numbers and Boolean values. It talks about strings. It talks about uh, many, many ar arithmetic operations like plus, minus, division, the uh, reminder, the multiplication, the um, uh, power calculation. It talks about the equal, double equal. What is it? It talks about reassigning a value. So there's a lot of information, a lot of information in this uh, tutorial or in this uh, uh, PDF file. Uh, this is a presentation. So please go through this um, whenever you have a chance. I'm going to share this with you um, today, and you can uh, you can have access to it through uh, the uh, the Anaconda. I'm sorry, the, the, through the uh, canvas okay so um, this is a lot of information um, and of course we are not going to go through this so it is your responsibility to um, try to go through these documents and um, it is going to give you enough information to get you started to st get you start your journey of learning uh, python programming language uh, for data science Okay, so that is the first file. This is the first uh, file. Um, it talks about the loops, uh, the conditions. It talks about the um, how you, you create a list, how you create um, um, a tuple, how you create um, 
uh, a dictionary. It talks about a lot of um, things that you should know as a scientist. So it's almost 58 slides, a lot of information about the basic foundation of Python programming. And this is another presentation which talks about the IPython. Yeah, it talks about uh, this uh, presentation talks about the IPython, talks about Jupyter Notebook, and um, uh, it talks about um, the, uh, the the Python kernel that it's been used under Jupyter Notebook. So a lot of information. Then, of course, if you were to go through this information, it's a boring information, uh, but you got to bear with it, learn it. And please schedule a one-to-one -one session with me in case you have um, problems or you have issues um, with them or understanding them. Okay, any question, concern, please, on the chat, just um, type in your questions. If you have, I'm, I'm monitoring the chat live. If you have any question, concern, uh, I'll be more than happy to stop and address them first. Um, Hajrawi, uh, I don't think that is a, I don't think that is a, the code, but let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Uh, I, I know there is a very simple, um, very simple uh, command. Okay, so we are going to create a new, create a new Python, and see if we can install the, the Jupyter so we are going to do um, exclamation mark pip install and we are going to do um, let's do that see if it's going to work i doubt it okay permission denied let's do No. Okay, let's try. So that is not the command, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to find it for you guys tonight, and uh, we will uh, share, I'll share it with you. Uh, maybe Conda. Let's try Conda. Uh, it's another methodology of installing, another technique. Conda is not recognized as an internal. That is weird. Anyways, uh, anyways. So um, we are gonna move on with this, and tomorrow we'll find uh, the link or we we'll find the uh, the command to install R. But this R, uh, this uh, Jupyter notebook, it does support up to four zero forty programming language. But by default, it uh, comes with the Python three. So I'm going to warn you, uh, this is a very, I mean, uh, this week, week, uh, week um, three, session one and session two, they are very, very boring sessions, mm -hmm. I admit, but we have to do it, uh, we have to learn some basic about Python, uh, otherwise we are going to have problem understanding the, the, the program. Okay, so um, we are going to, we are going to uh, uh, start a new Jupyter Notebook. So click on new, click on Python 3, then we are going to have a Jupyter notebook. So I'm going to name this my first uh, Python code. Just name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it my first Python code. And now it got um, named, renamed automatically. So you got a name, and it does uh, 
show you that uh, this is saved or unsaved so it's an auto is automatically saved okay and in this uh, uh, platform uh, we got few um, uh, yeah few things to, to learn about get the file if you were to open a file if you were to edit a file if you were to in, to view insert a cell these are these are called cells uh, if you were to uh, uh, if you were to um, no, no uh, if you were to um, to control yourself you could delete add remove etc this is the kernel this is the heart yeah this one is this uh, black Yeah, this is the kernel you cannot um, cancel it you cannot close if you close it then the kernel is gonna die I'm gonna I'm gonna show you if you cancel it I'm gonna close it and this is not gonna work it says reload it's not gonna work why because my the Jupyter notebook uh, it's not working actually it's not it's not gonna work so what do I need to do is we are gonna need to inst to um, start a new Jupyter notebook so we are gonna do again GUPY is lowercase okay and now we got it okay so now I'm gonna refresh my Jupyter notebook my notebook and it's good to go so click on files files you can um, uh, revert you can revert means to go back to a checkpoint uh, if you were to save um, if you were to save as a checkpoint uh, you can rename if you were to rename could do a bbds python for example you just need renamed it you can download as an html file latex file markdown notebook so the notebook this is that this is the one we will be using this notebook it has an extension ipynb ipynb you can download as um, python as pdf as PDF if you were to share it with someone sometimes uh, sometimes you might need uh, especially um, if you did um, you did something that is uh, stupid let's say that you removed or you deleted something and once you delete like for example um, one plus one run it so once you delete once you delete they say it's gone there is no way you can bring it up, especially if you are working in a, in, a, um, in many many few uh, many lines of codes. So then by accident uh, you uh, deleted that cell. There is no way you can get it back. Unfortunately, the only way you can get it back you can get it back is going. If it's saved, is you need to go and um, go to the checkpoint. So you need to go to a checkpoint. So the checkpoint was at 435 yeah the last checkpoint is at 435 i'm going to click on it say yes revert and if that checkpoint was saved then you are going to get you are going to get your uh, your cell back unfortunately it did not catch it so my cell was gone so this is called cells al khaliya and these cells uh, are uh, the container this is where we will be um, coding so that is about the file then about the edit it's um, if you were to cut uh, copy a cell paste if you were to merge two cells you can merge the cell below above so for example we have um, one plus one as a cell run it and we got two plus uh, two run it 
So if you were to uh, merge, we are going to do a merge with cell above. So now we got 1 plus 1 and 2 plus 2 in one cell. So we can merge cells um, above and uh, we can move. Let's say that we are going to move this going up. We're going to go up, go down. Just uh, play with uh, moving with these uh, cells uh, if you feel necessary to do so. Okay, uh, for the view, um, this is if you were, this is uh, simply uh, controlling the metadata uh, of um, it's behind the back, behind the scene. If you were to control the, uh, if you were to add a header, toggle toolbar, um, edit your metadata. So this is the metadata if you want to add it. Now edit, but uh, we don't want to do that. Sales, uh, here we go. Sales now, you can, um, this, uh, this menu uh, will help you to control the sales. If you were to run a cell, run all sales, run the um, above sales, below sales. If you were to clear, let's say that I don't want, I want to clear. I got to sell, output, and clear. Now it's gone. Run it again. Run it again. Now I want to clear it out. Simply clear using the clear. I want to delete. We are going to do the scissor. Scissor, scissor, scissor. You want to add, we are going to do add plus. You want to remove scissor, delete. You want to copy and paste. Copy, paste. Here we go. And uh, the kernel, uh, so the kernel uh, is going to start. Uh, PY is Python, is Python, and um, IPNB, um, IPYNB is Jupyter Notebook. And this Jupyter Notebook is used um, more uh, for education, educational purposes. So if I were to teach a class, I would rather use the uh, uh, IPNBY uh, rather than using the, the Python files. Okay, that is the difference between the PY and IP in, um, IPYNB. Part of them, it's, the, it's Python, but um, they work um, in different environment. Okay, so in my, uh, uh, in my um, Jupyter Notebook, you are going to see uh, some extra, some extra um, menus. You are going to see this. I know you don't have them. These are called extensions. These are called extensions. So all we need to do is Google extensions, extensions for G UPY for Jupyter uh, Notebook. They are very great. Uh, some great uh, extensions. Yeah. So. They are very, uh, they are many. Now, if you were to, um, uh, a few of them, if you want to print, you run tools, um, there is a lot of beautiful extensions that you could use uh, to beautify, to simplify, and make your life much easier uh, dealing with, uh, with these Jupyter notebooks. So, um, the command that you need to run. You see, this is all Jupyter. This is all the uh, uh, the uh, uh, now the usage of these extensions. So for the command, I'm going to share the command that you could use. Here we go. I'm going to share this command with you guys on the uh, the chat. So copy this. Just copy this. Copy this, uh, copy it, and take it to either Jupyter Notebook, the, um, the uh, command prompt, and paste it. Pip install. So if I click run, it's, I already have it installed. You see, um, I already have it installed. Uh, this is all garbage. I don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, my system is scanning. As you see, uh, my system is scanning. That is fine. 
if you have um, if you have the uh, a strong um, what you call the um, antivirus then uh, you should get that notification but now it's it's safe it's safe and they have all the extensions installed I have all the extensions installed okay now if I were to refresh I got them here I just refreshed uh, for a newer case in your case you are going to see the files you are going to see a running and the I, uh, I Python cluster this is why I just installed the extension so if you were to uh, use the command I shared with you on the chat you should be able to uh, install these extensions try it and now I'm going to click on these extensions so you tell it what you want what do you want to see so uh, let's say we are going to do um, auto um, save time I'm going to do um, uh, cut font size exercise notify freeze um, uh, highlight there we go I'm gonna simply uh, Python markdown and it does tell you what you are gonna see it does tell you what you are gonna see uh, let's say that we want uh, navigation no notify no so this is all a lot of extensions that you could add and now if you open up your uh, your Jupyter notebook you are going to see those uh, these uh, extensions being added you see there are many many extensions been added so far if you want to add numbers if you want to uh, see the, the command prompt uh, if you want to um, auto save if you want to auto save every uh, two minutes so by default so whatever you type is saved every time two minutes if you want to auto save every 10 minutes 15 uh, I would recommend using the default because sometimes you if you delete uh, a cell um, you can always revert you can always um, revert to uh, a checkpoint here we go you want the content so for example if I say uh, my file And I got it there so this is the content you are going to see everything anything that you are um, are the headers of the your Jupyter notebook so any questions so far please any question in the chat any question so far any questions concerns so far okay so that is basics um, about this uh, Jupyter notebook few things that I want you um, to be aware of is we have two type um, of cells we got the blue yeah the blue and we got the green so this is the blue this is the green so the green means it's an editable cell means it's an editable cell where you can start typing typing um, your codes so you are actually inside you are actually inside the cell if it's green it's inside the cell and you are going to see a little uh, pen pen in there means uh, so now it's blue the pen is gone inside the pen is there so the pen is gone so for the uh, uh, for the, um, the the blue cell means you are outside the cell you cannot edit if you have if you want to edit then you need to um, click inside uh, so and the color changes from the blue 
to green green means you are inside the cell you can start typing if you see a blue color means you are outside so you cannot modify uh, if the blue, the color is blue so you need to um, to uh, click inside the cell to start typing uh, no, start typing um, your codes okay another thing that you need to know is uh, this uh, Jupyter notebook it does support a lot of um, HTML code so if you are good in HTML you could you could make uh, you could um, embed your HTML codes in um, this Jupyter notebook so let's say that you want to uh, create um, uh, you want to create um, some heading so one uh, one um, ha hashtag is the, the highest is that the, the largest or the biggest size you could do two my file again you could do three my file so the uh, the more hashtag that you have uh, the, uh, the the size go down As you see, so you got my file. This is the this is the title, subtitle, sub subtitle, and subtitle, and you continue that way. And um, if uh, if the command that you if if the code uh, does support the program the Python programming syntax, you are going to run it as code. So, for example, if I were to run this typing your code, run, it is going to throw an error. You are going to get an error. Why? It's because Python does not understand this, this language. Python does not understand. This is, this is not the Python syntax. So, you are going to get an error. And it's always good to pay attention to the error because while you are working on this um, Python codes, you are gonna sometimes you you uh, sometimes you had a typo somewhere, you miss a dot, uh, you added the number that you should know, or there is something um, wrong with your codes. So the the syntax error, the the error um, you are gonna get the error that the the the, uh, the system threw up should have enough information to help you fix the codes. So, you have two options. Either we have to correct the syntax, or we are going to mark this as, uh, as a comment. Simply adding, adding a hashtag tells the system, hey, don't worry, don't pay attention to these to this lines. It's just a command. It's just a, a comment. So, the Python is ignore them. Python is going to ignore them. So I just ran them as a code. As you see, Python has ignored them. So anything that comes after a hash tag is, if, it's, if it runs as a code, is a comment. If it runs as a markdown, it is going to be a heading. You see, it's a heading. So anything that comes after a hashtag it's a comment means if it runs if it runs as a code you are telling the system just ignore me don't pay attention I'm fine I'm good just pass if it runs as a markdown it's going to be hidden if it runs as a code and it does not have a hashtag it is going to throw an error it's going to tell you hey I don't understand the, the language you are talking. I don't understand your codes. You got to speak to me using the syntax that I, I understand. Okay? So any questions, concerns, please? What extensions? Um, play around them. Just play around them until you find them. Uh, for me, these are all the extensions that I use. The one that you see, um, check mark. 
I use this one, this one, this all the uh, the extensions I used. But of course, you don't have to use the same extensions. Just play around them until you find the extensions that you want for um, your Dripper notebook. Um, um, you know, I use only a few extensions that I want that that I need, especially um, the, the numbers and uh, the, uh, the table of content. Yeah, table of content and the numbers. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this. Uh, I'm gonna remove this auto save. Auto save. Where is it? Okay, scroll down. Time table of content. Scroll down. Code pretty five. Auto save. I don't need that. And you don't have to. That's it. Just um, check and check and um, refresh and you should be able to have it disappear there we go it's gone <laughs> one thing that I want you to be aware of while working on this dripper notebook is uh, this um, um, indexes so you see in and nothing in there so if nothing in there means you have not run the sale yet so this sale has not been run has not been uh, executed yet if there is a number this number mean nothing it simply means that the sale has been uh, has been executed in a specific order sometimes you run it and you are going to see an array streak uh, um, a star simply means if you see a star in there it simply means the the, the sale is running it's running behind the scene. You gotta give it a minute to be able to uh, to be able to, to 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 run it. Okay. Any questions, concerns, please? I cannot see the next. Uh, the, so you might need to um, restart your system. You might need to restart your system to be able to see the extensions. Okay, guys. As I mentioned earlier today, tomorrow we are going to move to um, uh, to the Zoom, so we can have um, a live uh, interaction. So, uh, in the uh, folder that I shared with you, you got the Python codes. You got many many codes in there. Uh, intro uh, introduction Python, string, list, tuple, set, dictionaries, condition, loops function loading the data etc so um, to uh, to start an existing uh, to start to launch an existing notebook all what you have to do is go to the home page go to the home page and we are going to get navigate through my folders to get into, uh, we are going to navigate through my folders to get into uh, uh, into these Dripper notebooks. So, these Dripper notebooks they are under the the SJ uh, Business Development, Business Training, Morocco in Data Science Week Three, and Session uh, Week Three. Okay, so we are going to go to. Uh, and most likely you are going to see you are going to have your notebook in in your desktop but mine they are under a folder so the folder is under one one drive desktop data science journey and we are going to do business development training programs data science 2023 morocco in data science week number three and Python codes that I'm gonna uh, yeah, you see all the uh, the files that I prepared for you is the same all the files one zero one introduction to Python this is introduction to Python zero to etc okay I'm gonna simply double click double click and it's gonna launch it's gonna start by uh, the file Okay, it's gonna start the fight. 
and this is the file that we are, will be using. Uh, I already have this um, pre-coded, so I'm not gonna code from scratch. Otherwise, we are gonna we are gonna save. We are gonna uh, waste a lot of time trying to um, invent the wheel. We already have the code, so I'm gonna simply go through the codes step by step, trying my best uh, to uh, make this uh, understanding the, the the Python programming language as simple as possible. Um, what is um, what is the interest in using uh, Jupyter rather than um, editors? Mm -hmm. PyCharm and Sp Spider is dead. No one is using Spider anymore. So why I'm using Jupyter Notebook is just simply I've been using Jupyter Notebook for my life, and Jupyter Notebook is is the platform that I use uh, for teaching at Mercer at the at the um, at the university. So it's used, been used uh, for um, training purposes, and also it could be used. Um, I use the on, on, for my project, uh, industry project. So uh, of course, again, you can use as many, um, you can use any editor you want. So whatever I do with Jupyter Notebook, you, you can still use um, Spider. You can use uh, PyCharm. You can use whatever editor you want. But I'm simply used uh, to Jupyter Notebook, number one. Number two, it is the editor that has been used, that I know it's been used in, in, in the industry for training purposes and in the universities for training purposes as well. So, um, Muhammad, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Muhammad, feel free to use whatever you want. But for this program, we are going to use Jupyter Notebook. So again, to open to open an existing file, simply all way you need to go is navigate through the folders until you find your um, until you find the file that you want. So simply navigate through the folders. So this is all my my uh, navigation until I find the file that I want. And double click and now it's 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 a it's a blue I'm sorry it's green green means it's running green means it's up and running and the others they are not they are not up and running yet so that is one way to um, open up an existing folder existing file number two you could simply um, upload this is number two click on upload upload and it is gonna take you through a navigation. Here we go. It's gonna tell you where you want, uh, where do you have your file, and simply find the file that you want to run and get it from there. That is number two. Number three, what you could do uh, simply, you could simply um, drag and drop. You could simply as you see here, uh, we are going to do, uh, you could simply drag and drop. Watch this. I'm going to drag it and drop it. And you upload. I have it somewhere there. Double click. Uh, no, double click and it's up and running. So you got three ways to, um, to start, I mean, to, to um, open up. Uh, an existing Jupyter notebook from um, your system that you already have uh, worked on and you have stored in your system. Okay, so hopefully we are on the same page. Um, again, uh, I'm going to share. I'm going to share this file with you guys um, today. So uh, let's take a look. Again, the first cell is a uh, markdown. If I were to run it as a code, it's going to give you an error because the uh, the uh, Python does not understand this language. So we have to run it as a markdown. Markdown is simply an HTML. Now run it as markdown. It is going to give you an image. So again, this uh, this um, this uh, Jupyter notebook it does support HTML programming language. If you are to do uh, HTML for Jupyter, 
đợi bút You are going to see a lot of resources uh, talking about this. Uh, here we go, a lot of resources. Um, uh, if you were to add the color, uh, you see, if you, are, if you were to add the color, if you were to add um, heading, headings. So uh, if you were to make it uh, meaningful, beautiful, acceptable of course you you need to use some uh, some markdown uh, some html so um, just google it up and you are going to see a lot of resources that you could utilize to make a jipper notebook um, a very simple adorable um, acceptable format okay so um, this uh, uh, this Jupyter Notebook, when you install it the first time, it comes with few programming, few packages. So this Jupyter Notebook, it comes with a few uh, packages. A package is a collection of a reusable codes that you can use to do a few things. So uh, this, um, among the uh, among the packages that got installed with this Jupyter Notebook when you first install it is NumPy it's a package used for numerical Python Matplotlib which is a package used for uh, data visualization and um, it comes also with Pandas which is a package that we are going to use later uh, for data manipulation so when you uh, install them you got to import them they are installed they are in the system but you got to bring them into the memory using the word import. Import means go to the system, bring the the the, the, the functionality, and use it. Uh, you know, store it in the memory so we can start using it. So uh, as you see, sometimes and this is a very good example. Sometimes you are going to get an error. Sometimes you are going to get an error like this. And this is an error. Always, always, always check the error. As there is a lot of information you are going to get through this error. It simply says there is no model, module, this is no module name and um, hand ca calculation. So what do you need to do is we are going to take this hand uh, we are going to take the name of this um, this modules and we are going to install it using the pip install that's what i'm going to do i'm going to take this either we are going to do it live we are going to do exclamation mark pip install the uh, and cal mm, cal Take it up. Here we go. Collecting all the information. Already satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. Now uh, let's run it. And it's done. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is install. We could do it here in Jupyter Notebook or simply uh, we are gonna do it through the uh, Anaconda prompt. Anaconda prompt again. And we are gonna do pip install I'm sorry they already been uh, copied we are going to do pip install without the exclamation mark so we do the exclamation mark if you are using the jipper notebook we are going to do it without exclamation mark if you are using the command prompt run and it's already is going to say uh, the requirement already been satisfied requirement already uh, satisfied means i already have it installed so now it's installed them. I'm gonna command. I'm gonna add the hashtag. Why? Because I don't want to do it over and over and over. It's done. 
So we are going to import. And the first command that we are going to learn is a print. Yeah, you could use also Jupyter Lab. Yes, you, yeah, you could use also Jupyter Lab. You are going to do here uh, instead of using GUPY um, notebook. Okay, instead of using Jupyter Jupyter notebook, we are going to use yeah, Jupyter. Uh, I think it's called um, Lab. I forgot. I forgot what. Yes, uh, I used it in the past, but I never. I never uh, here we go. Uh, yes, Jupyter Lab, and this Jupyter Lab, what it does, it gives you the access to more uh, files. Yeah, it's going to give you access to the files. You see, it's. Um, I got my desktop. Uh, let's say um, I got my OneDrive. I got my desktop. I'm going to go to data science, um, then I'm going to navigate through my um, codes. Week number three and uh, Python codes, we got one, etc. Um, I don't like it, honestly. This is just me. Uh, I don't like I'm used simply because I've been used to Jupyter Notebook. Uh, but of course, um, you could use the lab, which uh, give you uh, more control over the folders and the files that you'll be uh, that you'll be using. Okay, so they are the same, except that one of them is only it does the deals deals uh, uh, deals with uh, with the files. The other one it deals with uh, files and uh, folders and subfolders. Okay, so um, yeah, yeah, you are welcome. So um, yeah, the first print, uh, the first command, this is the command that we are going to use, is the print. Is print function. Okay, print. This is a function. In Python, anything that you see. Any uh, thing that comes with the parentheses means a function. It's a function. Sometimes it's it's uh, um, simply a method. And this function it can accept. It can accept parameters. So accept something inside. Print. If you were to run print, it's simply a print. It does not print anything. Print one is going to print one. Print me uh, mo midwani is not going to print anything because this is not the syntax. Mo midwani is a string. So if you were to do a print mo midwani string, it's going to print mo midwani is a string. Okay, so um, this print function it does accept all type of data that we are going to cover probably today it i mean it, it can accept it can print string um, it prints um, integer cloud um, tuples um, dictionaries data it print anything you fit into it if it's uh, if it's correct okay so that is that is uh, the, the print function and uh, it's used to display to display something either display a direct statement or display displays a, a statement or a data or something that has been stored in a variable which we are going to um, talk about shortly so you want to um, know the, ver the, the, the versions so now I'm using an uh, import system what is uh, the version I'm using is 3.913. Sometimes you are going to need to understand the versions of the applications, of the packages, of the system you are using. Why? Is if you build uh, something on a version, 
and you are using a different version of that something your code might not work you are always going to get a lot of errors so it's always uh, good to uh, use the versions of the uh, packages and the systems that the or original file been uh, been built upon and how do we know the version is simply uh, using the, uh, the 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 version and pack, uh, version method okay so um, the second function we are going to learn is the help sometimes you you got um, you come across a method or a, a function that you don't know so we are going to use the help function so help sys so, and you are going to get a lot of documents a lot of documents this is help uh, this is it says says uh, help on the uh, built-in model system name is sys and you are going to get a lot of information the following documents is automatically generated from python source file so it does ex uh, it does generate it does um, displays or print out the information on whatever function or modules or method that you want to uh, explore from the an online um, repository uh, it's uh, from the python um, file source where they have a lot of documents on every um, package being built um, every modules every uh, method and every uh, function okay so um, we just learned about the the print function which is used to print out to display uh, out something and the help function which is used to provide uh, enough um, tutorials information and a specific um, something that something could be a function that you want to learn more about it could be a module it could be a method it could be a package it could be anything So the second thing that we are going to learn is the comments. Comments. So let's assume that you and I we are working on the same uh, and the same um, uh, project, and we are working in a different time zones. Uh, I, I am in U.S. You are in Morocco, and of course there are six hours or five hours difference. So you work on your shift and you are going to pass it to me on my shift to, to build up or to continue so without you explaining to me what you have done you're always good to add comments so as I said anything that comes after a hashtag is a comment this is uh, this is a comment a comment this uh, course is all about doing this and this it's uh, very simple you know it's very simple explaining what the snippet this uh, code uh, snippet or this um, is all about so without you uh, explain to me in an email or verbally what you are doing uh, simply type it for me in the comments so next day i know this is what the friends this is um, an error i know um, this is a string this is an integer so you don't, without you having to explain that to me directly, uh, simply put your work uh, or um, uh, support your work with some comments that make it easier for anyone reusing your code or you, you reusing your file, make it easier for them to navigate through, to understand the processes and steps that you are, uh, that you used to uh, complete the project okay so um, you always you are gonna get you always you are gonna get an error if the syntax is not correct you know Python is a programming language is a human language is like a human language a human language there are syntax you cannot tell me me school I go I know what you're talking about, but the syntax of me school I go is not correct. So it's the same with this computer language. You have to speak the syntax. You have to speak the language 
and the syntax that this uh, computer understands. So for example, if you instead of typing print, you did friend F, it is going to tell you friend is not defined. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand what um, I don't understand what do you want me to do so you always you are gonna get some errors and as I said it's always good to get uh, to go through uh, uh, you know to look into the error to, to help you understand uh, where the error is coming from uh, no, no, troubleshoot you know troubleshoot the, 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 the problem okay so uh, let's say you are working on this um, you are working on this cell, cell number 14, and uh, I'm trying to help you correct something. I would rather to use numbers. So now I get the numbers, numbers, line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I could tell you, hey, go to line number 5 and fix it. Go to line number 4 and comment it on. So to add this, uh, these numbers, you are going to do either uh, with the, the, the extension that we uh, we install, this extension, uh, NB extensions. Uh, you need to uh, pick or you know, to select the numbers. It's, it gets somewhere in there. Or what you need to do to add numbers, you are going to do escape and L. You see escape L, you are going to do. computer keyboard yeah you are going to do the escape so if you were to add numbers we are going to do the is click on the escape and the L these two okay try it try it if you are a if you are used in the computer yeah I'm gonna do here escape L it's uh, sorry it's ch changed my uh, yeah escape L so this is on we got one two three this is out again and or you could simply use uh, the uh, the extension. It's called um, toggle line numbers in all uh, called cells. Here we go. So you get all the, the numbers. Okay. Uh, again, uh, this uh, Python it does support um, many. It does support many. Um, uh, the data type uh, so this is few of the most common data types Python supports numeric it supports integer it supports uh, complex like integer like 5 complex uh, 7 um, 3 9 yeah minus something it's a complex float seven seven point five so it does support a um, different numeric uh, data type it support dictionaries which we are going to learn boolean zero one or false true false a set then the sequential data data type like a string like a list like a tuple where the order order is very important order is very important so today we are going to learn a few things we are going to learn how to uh, uh, deal with numerical data dictionaries boolean sets and sequential data Okay, Ali, it says, how can we understand the phase, the phases between theory of AML and the implementation of algorithm? Example. Okay, Ali, that is something we are going to learn um, the following week. 
So we are, we are going to learn how to um, build algorithms. Um, of course, uh, we are. Uh, this is a uh, a step by step program. So the first thing that we are going to learn in this program, that the first thing that we learn is understanding how to transform understanding first why do we need to be a data scientist number two understanding how to convert the uh, a business statement into quantifiable analytical statement number three then we are going to learn how to use Jupyter notebook number three number four we are going to learn how to explore the data once you have the data we need to understand this data understand the, the quality of the data and number five we are going to learn how to visualize this data transform the data into graphs so you can see them and number six this is uh, we are going to learn how to prepare pre-process make the data for uh, ready for analysis uh, so the raw data is not going to be usable so we have to fix anything related to the quality of the data and number seven yeah number seven then we are going to continue learning how to deal with missing values outliers um, categorical data the distribution of your data the skewness uh, etc and number eight this is where we will start learning about algorithms and machine learning. You cannot jump, jump into machine learning without understanding the data number one, understanding the problem number two, understanding um, the quality of your data. So it is a, we are gonna we are gonna learn machine learning later, but we have to be, to, to to start from from uh, from the the concept. So Ali, hopefully that is uh, that is clear to you. Yes, uh, Mid Alawi. Yes, Python is very sensitive to spaces and um, and letters. And um, yes, and we are going to cover that shortly. Okay. So a few things. Uh, okay. So let's say that you know I have a lot of garbage in here. Now I got a lot an output in there, output in there. So to clear out this output, let's say that I want to clear it out. I want to get rid of um, this output. All what we need to do is we go to cell, go to cell, go to output, and go to clear. So cell, output, clear, and if I run it, it's gonna clear anything, everything that we did. So now we, are, we got all simply inputs. There is no outputs. If I were to run everything, I'm gonna do cell, run all, and it's gonna run all my cells. If they are syntaxly, uh, if the syntax is correct, it's gonna run them all. As you see, everything is run all, of course, you are going to get um, some errors in there. Again, um, you can run the cells above, uh, cells, um, cells below, and um, you can clear the output. There is one way. Another way to clear the output is click on the kernel. And the kernel, you are going to do a restart and clear the output. So watch, what, what, watch what's going to happen. Yeah, this is this is the uh, yeah this is the kernel yeah this is the kernel okay and I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to my uh, Jupyter notebook I'm gonna click on the kernel I'm gonna do restart and clear the output gonna restart and watch this actually this is the one you see start and is it's trying there we go 
it's looking for my uh, my file and uh, it should be um, you should be able to bring it back very quick so let me uh, close this I'm gonna close this one close yeah, close this one also okay I think I'm up and running now let's see here we go okay so one thing uh, that you know that I mentioned is um, we are going to learn how to deal we are going to learn how to deal with different type of data we are going to start with numeric then they learn about dictionaries uh, if you guys can see me and hear me clearly uh, please uh, say something in the chat I must have I must have lost you everybody in the chat can you guys see me can you guys see me and hear me clearly I don't know I'm getting some errors I just want to make sure that we are still connected yes okay thank you uh, thank you Selma okay so let's proceed so the first thing we gotta do um, in Python is how to create a variable so in Python we are gonna create a variable we are going to create a variable it's called variable and we are going to start enter it something so this variable is nothing but a space in the memory so we are going to hold a space in the memory uh, memory we are going to name it a variable and this variable is simply a cup it's a cup and we are going to store in this cup uh, either an, an, uh, an integer, either a string, a file, an image. We are going to store in it into uh, so many um, uh, different, different, um, yeah, different data type. We can uh, we can store in that variable an integer, a complex number, a float, uh, a dictionary, a boolean, a set, a string, a list, a tuple, etc okay I'm gonna create one variable I'm gonna name I'm gonna uh, name it name name then I'm gonna pass to it my name Mo Midwani okay I, all I did all I did is I created a cup a variable a space and the memory called name and I stored in the name a string called momid1 so this variable here um, can hold any data type it can hold memory it can hold dictionaries boolean files etc so I ran it and I have a, I have a, a, an object and a variable called name and I have an object called momid1 this momid one is being stored in this variable called name so now if I were to print out if I were to see what is in this variable that is called name I could simply type in name or I could use the print function then pass into it name so there are two ways yeah there are two ways uh, to deal with variables to display the content of the variables either using the variable names or using the print function and pass to those function to the print function the variable names so please bear in mind that python is case sensitive python is case sensitive means if you were to type name now name and name they are the same but the variable that we build we use the lowercase n and the variable that we are trying to navigate through or 
trying to print out is capital N. The, the, the Python is going to tell you, I don't understand what you're talking about. So yes, I know name and name, they are the same, but one is with lowercase and the other one is with uppercase. So it's very, it's case sensitive. These variables, you cannot build a variable with a space. So there is a space in there. If I were to use a, a variable with a space, normally uh, you cannot start with a space. You cannot start with a special character. You cannot start with a number. You cannot start with. The, you cannot start the variable with a name. Um, so you cannot start uh, the the. Um, the, the name of the variables, they have specific, they have some rules. Number one, no space, no uh, special characters, and no numbers. You cannot start with the numbers. So let's say that if you were to create a variable called my name, yeah, there is a space in there, it's not going to take it. It's going to tell you it's an invalid. So what we have to do, if we were to use the, we either we remove the space or we could use the underscore to build a variable. There is a few things that I want you to be aware of. Is Python is case sensitive. Sometimes you are going to get an error. You're trying to figure out what is causing the error. Nothing, nothing wrong with the syntax. Just check the typos. Check the, the, the variable names. You could probably uh, um, no, had a case, sensitive, case problem in there. Okay, so uh, uh, I mean this uh, this Python um, Python is a super um, sophisticated um, uh, calculator. You could use any uh, you could use any arithmetic op operations. So in this cell, we are going to print nine divided by three. Print the, the reminder of nine divided by four. Then another uh, method that we are going to use, we are gonna, another uh, function that we are going to learn today is the type. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. The reminder of 9 divided by 4 is 2. What is the class? What is the type of, um, of um, 3? Is a float. What is the class or the type of um, the reminder is an integer? So we just learned about three functions print function, help function, and the type function. This is the three um, functions that we learned so far. The print it is, gonna, is used to display the content of an object. The help is used to um, provide instruction, enough information on a, a modules uh, on a method and a function and the type it is going to tell you is going to display the type of the data that you are using is it numeric is it an integer is it a float is it a string is it a list a tuple is it a set and every um, all this all these different type of data have different ways of dealing with so the way we are going to deal with integers is different than the way we deal with string. The way we deal sometimes sometimes it's the same, but it is going to be most likely it's going to be different. So um, there is no one silver silver bullet that you can use in Python to deal with ev all the type of the data, different type of data. So every type of data has its own way of dealing with it. And that is what we are going to learn um, first. Okay, so uh, and uh, as I said, the Python um, programming language is a sophisticated uh, calculator. It does apply the PEMDAS methodology. So if you were to do, for example, um, uh, um, 56 plus um, uh, 56 plus 65 minus uh, uh, you know 89 divided by uh, 45 uh, plus uh, uh, you know uh, 
multiplied by 78. So we are doing a lot of operations, a lot of, um, you are using different operators here. Then plus uh, something like 99, 55.9 uh, divided by, by 2. Okay, so uh, which one goes first? Which one, uh, when you are feeding this whole line of um, into Python with different operators. So we got the plus in there, we got the, the subtraction in there, the division in there, multiplication in there, um, the addition, the addition, and we got in here, we got the parentheses. So which goes, uh, which one goes first is, uh, is uh, the Python does apply the mathematical pandas. So mathematical pandas is nothing but, uh, sorry, is the uh, parentheses first, exponential second, uh, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So which one goes first? So this is go first, then exponential we don't have, then uh, multiplication, this, this goes first, second, the division, this goes third, uh, then addition, this and this, and this goes second. So it does go by, um, um, it does um, apply the PANDAS methodology. PANDAS stands for parenthesis, exponential, um, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, run it. So now, now what we just did? What did we just do? Okay, we created a variable. We created a variable called x. We created a variable called x, and this x is nothing but a space in the memory. It's a space in the memory. It's a, it's a, it's a container. It's a space in the memory, and we stored this uh, variable, uh, this uh, object into it. It's all what we did. Then we use the print function. So print means, hey, x, what do you have in you? And the x is going to do, um, uh, you know, what we have in x is this, uh, is the output is of this operation. Of course, this uh, operation, it does use the pandas. So we got 91.84. This is the output. And also we print the type. What is the type of the data that we have in X is the float. And if um, uh, float, and if a um, uh, fasila, you know, get float. Okay, again, subtraction, it does support subtraction. We could do a multiplication. And uh, if I were to do, so now we have, uh, we have X, Run, no, run x so this is the value of x but if uh, if i run this 85 um, again minus 50 uh, 52 minus 11 minus 8 the x is 4 so if i run the uh, the previous x again it's 4 so what happened is i override i overrided the value of x uh, they already have. So if I run it again, its x has been changed from 4 to 5.52. If I run it again using the division, then now the x is 5.20. So what happens is I keep overriding the existing x. If I were to keep the value in a separate uh, object, I could rename this as x number two for example x number two x number two x number two this is going to be x number three and three and three so i want to keep uh, this is going to be four four and four 
and this is going to be 5, 5, and 5. So now I am going to keep, I'm going to keep the value of my x's. Here we go. So I am not, I am not, but now I have arrived the existing um, x using the uh, mo modulus. Okay, so uh, yeah, that is what we call um, uh, variables and how to, uh, to uh, keep the value of a variable separate or override the, the, the value of the variables. Okay, folks, so um, we are going to stop here today and tomorrow we are going to move into Tomorrow we are going to learn about the uh, how to deal with integer, with complex number, with the float, with the string, with the list, with the tuple. So it's simply a basic, base, some, some foundations and basics that you should, as data scientists, you should know uh, to help you understand uh, the data once we get into it. Later in the, later in the program, we are going to, we are going to deal with the data. So that is in week number four. We are going to deal with uh, the following week. We are going to deal with the data. So we are going to store this data in an object. And whatever we learned about integers, strings, sets, lists, boolean, etc., could be applied to a data frame, to a data itself. Okay, folks. So I'm going to take a moment in here to see if you guys have any question, any concern. You guys have any question, any concern, any doubt, please? You are welcome. Um, Imad, you are welcome. Any questions, concerns, please? Any questions, concerns, please? Any questions, concerns, please? Yeah, sorry guys. Any questions, concerns, please? Yeah, sorry. Okay. How to download the notes? So um, again, you need to have access to a Jupyter note um, to uh, Anaconda. So you need to have access to your Anaconda. And today you are going to have access to um, week number three. Okay, Lola, what is your question? Lola, I know you had the question. Uh, I don't know why you're talking about uh, in terms of matrices. Um, of course, we are going to learn them how to use matrices um, in Python um, tomorrow, and we are going to use uh, we are going to learn them more once we advance into the program. So today is simply basics. We're trying to learn basics about Python and Jupyter Notebook. We are going to learn more about this uh, matrices later in the program. Lola, if that is the question. Okay, folks, um, we got to stop here. Um, so it's almost two hours. So I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, inshallah, tomorrow we are going to use either Zoom or we are going to use uh, the um, GoToMeeting. I will uh, notify you through the WhatsApp and through the, the, the Canvas. Until then, you guys have a great um, rest of the day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Ila liqa. Bye, everybody.